Hello, Maris. Good evening. Hello, hello, hello. teacher. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. So I think that today is a Monday, so we need to start with a good attitude. What about your weekend? How was it? How was your long weekend? Very good. Yeah, did you enjoy? Yeah. Excellent. Did you go out? No. Oh, you really like my home. Okay. Excellent. I think that that is a good way to spend the weekend, right? So, and what about your day? Was good? Busy? Relaxing? Busy. Very busy. Very busy. As always, right, Maurice? Yeah. Very busy. Yeah, I know. Okay, Maurice. Well, we also have Tony. Good evening, Tony. Good evening, teacher. How are you? How about your long weekend? Very, very good. Okay, excellent. Um, super, super excellent because I feel that I I need this vacation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, so excellent. Then do you rest? Um, yes. Okay. The three days. Oh, excellent. Okay, that is good. So and what about your day today? Was it a uh, busy... Mm, the, like the Mondays usually um for me is what's very busy very very busy with uh long uh, meetings or mm -hmm. uh, virtual or, or presential meetings okay but it is um totally busy for me yes i imagine okay mondays are always busy i think mm -hmm. right yes yeah mm -hmm. exactly Okay, so I think that we also have Atilio, he is connecting, okay? All right, guys. Well, we are going to start with today's class and we are going to start with uh, today's agenda. So for today, we are going to start working on unit number three, which is going to be branding, okay? We are going to start um, also talking about different um, topics, okay, about branding. We have teamwork. We also have the speaking time, we have listening quizzes, and we also have a grammar quiz today about a topic that we must know, okay? So we are going to start, and the first thing, the name of this new unit is going to be branding, okay? What is branding? Do you have an idea about what is branding? Do you know what is branding? Related to the name of the of the company and the exposition of the of the brand like that. Yes. Okay. It is related to that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, um, okay. So we are going to start by talking about the following. Okay. When you buy a product, do you buy a particular brand? Yes or no? Or it doesn't matter for you? Um, uh -huh. Usually for me, yeah. it depends on the brand. It depends because the with brand. the brand, you have an idea that the quality of the product and uh, the feedback about this, this company. Okay. And it depends okay. too of the product. Okay, it depends on the product and the brand. Uh -huh. Okay, and you, Maurice, whenever you buy a product, do you buy a particular brand or it doesn't matter? Uh, uh, the same, uh, Tony, mm -hmm. it depends on the product. Okay. I can buy it. Depends. It depends example, on... Uh -huh. For example, uh, I need buy. I need to buy. I need to buy TV and a Samsung. Okay. Samsung. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. And, and the other product, Samsung. Okay, For so example. it is. Uh -huh. oh, okay, and okay, yes, I think that. I mean, because of the brand, 
right? Because of the yeah. brand, maybe. Yeah. Okay. So let me ask you guys, what do you think about the brands below? Do these brands make you think in a positive or a negative way? Yeah. So what do you think about Amazon? Is it something positive or negative what you think about Amazon? Uh -huh. Amazon? I think that it's possible. Positive. 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 Okay, very good. What about Skype? Positive or negative way? Skype. Mm, right now, negative, negative for me. Yeah, because it's not the user right now. Uh, we have another platform better and faster and free. Skype is paid. Yes, I think that you know, um, Skype did have a great opportunity, right, back in times, but they couldn't, uh, they couldn't take advantage in the a pandemic right a skype yeah because most of the time people were trying to communicate with others like in a virtual way and they had the opportunity but i don't know why they they didn't took advantage right so what about number three microsoft something positive or negative for me positive Yes, I think that is positive, right? Microsoft has many, I would say, things that are really useful. Huh? Mm -hmm. All right. So then we also have number four. What do you think about this brand? Holds back. Uh -huh. Something positive or something negative? Positive. Positive. And what about Google? When you hear Google, something positive or something negative? Very positive. Yes. Positive, yeah? positive, positive. right? Absolutely positive, I think. In Apple? Positive. Yes, positive. In Facebook? Positive or negative? Mm -hmm. Well, Facebook, I think that's something positive, right? Because it has good things. The marketplace, right? Advertising, okay. All right, Carlos Omar, thank you, Atilio. I saw your message as well, all right? So, uh -huh. okay, guys, let's continue, okay? Now, let's move and let's start by asking us, okay. right? Asking ourselves, what is branded? Yeah, what is branded? Okay, eh, Tony, help us reading the first paragraph and then Mayra, the second paragraph. Okay. Thank you. What is branding? Branding refers to the process of creating a unique and distinct identity for a person, mm -hmm. product, service, or company. It involves developing a set of characteristics, values, and associations that differentiate the entity from its competitors and create a memorable impression in the mind of the target audience. Yes. Branding goes below just a logo or name or a name. It encompasses the overall perception and reputation of the empty, empty uh -huh. including, uh -huh. including its business visual identity, mes messaging, customer experience, and emotional connection with the audience. It helps establish a strong and consistent image that resonates with okay. the target market, yes. will trust and loyalty, and sets the entity apart in the marketplace. Thank you, all right? So basically, guys, uh, branding is uh -huh, the process of creating a unique and distinct identity for a person, 
product, service, or a company. Mm -hmm. So, and this involves developing a set of characteristics, values, and associ association that differentiate the entity. Yeah, la entidad, the entity from its competitors and create a memorable impression in the minds of the target audience. Huh? So branding is creating that memorable impression in the minds of the target audience. Yeah, so it says that branding goes beyond, right? Beyond, yes, más allá, goes beyond just a logo or a name. It encompasses. What is the meaning of encompasses? Abarcar. Encompass, abarcar. Third person, yeah, yes. Yeah, the overall perception and reputation of the entity. Yeah, so including its visual identity, messaging, customer experience and emotional connection with the audience. So branding actually is very uh, important because it creates this emotional connection with the audience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it helps establish a strong and consistent image that resonates. Yeah, what is the meaning of resonates? Uh -huh. Resonar, right? With the target market, builds trust and loyalty and sets the entity apart in the marketplace. Okay, branding is really important for companies. Yeah. So now, which is the difference between a product and a brand? What is the main difference? Help us read in the definition for product, Maurice. Yeah product okay. and emerson are you there hello me. yes so emerson a brand okay okay yes okay let's start yes a product refers to tangible tangible or ta tangible or intangible okay item that is offered for sale to fulfill a need or desire. Mm -hmm. It can be a physical object mm -hmm. or service or even an idea. 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 Thank you. A brand, Emerson. Good evening. Good evening. Emerson? A brand. Yeah. A brand encompasses the overall perception, reputation, and, and identity, identity associated with the product, company, or organization. This re represents the emotion and psychological connection that consumers have with her product or company. Okay, thank you. Guys, pronunciation first, okay? So, um, see, tangible, 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 intangible, intangible. Yes, offered, ed, ed pronunciation, offered, con de, no offered, offered. Yes, solamente con de al final, offered, yeah. Yes, uh, for sale to fulfill a need or desire. So it can be physical object, a service, or even an idea. Mm -hmm. So a brand uh -huh, encompasses, que dijimos que significaba encompass, abarcar, yes? The overall perception reputation and identity. How do you say identity in English? Identity. 
I, identity, yes? Associated with a product, company, or organization. So it represents the emotional and psychological connection that consumers have with the product or company. Mm -hmm. Yes. So basically, the brand or branding in this case, guys, is related to the emotional and the psychological connection that a company has with customers. Yes, okay. And this is very, very important. So now let's talk about key branding terms. Yeah, vocabulary. So we have some definitions. So we need to basically um, fill out those spaces with the pink words, yeah? For example, what do you think is this one? It says, customer's ability to recognize a brand and connect it to its products. Customer's ability to recognize a brand and connect it to its products. Uh -huh. If you don't know, it's okay, okay? Let's move. Number two, it says the definition, a customer's real view of a brand. What do you think that is? Do you think that that is the brand awareness, the brand loyalty, the probably a brand image? Uh -huh. What do you think that is? A customer's real view of a brand. Mm -hmm. Then we also have number three. What a company wants a customer to think about a brand. Mm -hmm. What a company wants a customer to think about a brand. Now, number four, a customer's, a customer's habit of always buying the same product. What is that? Oh, yes. if, excellent. That is brand lo loyalty. When a customer has the habit of always buying the same product, right, is brand loyalty. Correct. Hmm? So we have brand loyalty. Okay. Okay. Very good. That one is brand loyalty. What about number five? It says how a product is marketed compared to similar products offered by other companies. Mm -hmm. how a product is marketed compared to similar products offered by other companies. Mm -hmm. No? Okay. What about number six? It says, a brand known for low prices. So we already used this one. What do you think? Mm -hmm. A brand known for low prices. So an economy brand. Yes. Mm -hmm. Economy brand. What about number seven? Yes, number seven, it says, a brand known for good quality and high prices. Premium. Excellent. A okay, that premium. Is a premium brand. Uh, uh -huh. um, excuse me. A Don't premium. worry, okay? Yes, a premium brand. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, so we already used those three. Okay, now let's complete the other ones. Okay. How do we call um, a customer's real view of a brand? What does the brand 
transmit, guys. How do we call to that actually okay. image? Very good. Okay, so it is going to be the brand image. Okay, the is it? Yes, the 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 yeah, identity. Identity. Okay. Um, okay, number one, brand identity. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think that this awareness. Awareness. That is correct. Okay. It is, number one is going to be brand awareness, guys. Yes. Is the ability um, that customers have to recognize a brand and connect this brand to its products, right? The brand awareness. And what is the meaning of awareness? Give me a synonym. Uh, sensibility. Okay. With yes. Sensibility with, with the customers. Okay. Okay. Yes. And what about number three? And number five. Okay. So we are just missing two terms. Okay. We already use image. We already use awareness. So we only have positioning and identity. What a company wants a customer to think about a brand. How do we call um maybe I don't know is sound for me like a positioning, <laughs> but but I have a doubt with identity. Mm -hmm. Feel like more that positioning. Uh, in the top of the mind, the positioning is the most um, decided uh, objective in, in, in the market. Mm -hmm. Maybe some more like positioning. Positioning. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in number five, it says how a product is marketed compared to similar products offered mm -hmm. by other companies. Um, I think number three, number three is identity because mm -hmm. companies want to the customers um, always thinking his own brand. That is correct. So in this case, um, number three is going to be the brand identity. Yeah, identity, yes. And number five is going to be, it is going to be a positioning. Uh -huh. Yes, so those are terms um, that we use basically when it comes to branding, yeah? Those are different terms that so you can see, okay? In different, uh, probably, uh, situations, right? Whenever we are talking about brand. So we have brand awareness, brand image, brand identity, brand loyalty, brand positioning, an economy brand, and a premium brand. Yeah? Okay, very good. So now let's move and let's continue, okay? Let's move and let's work on the book, okay? So let's see. Uh, first of all, guys, I need two volunteers. So I need Josue and Amy. Me teacher. Okay, thank you, Maris. You're Josue and Amy? Me teacher. Thank you, uh, Kenya. Amy. Okay, Maris, go. Okay. I would like to create a brand for me, environment friendly. What do you have in mind? What do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the ones sold at the supermarket. Uh, well, well, yes, that is the problem. People are calling them Joshua's, but the song just the bad, and I can't come up 
with any better idea. Mm -hmm. You could you could call them no brown no brown has become a trend for some products in Japan and Korea. Okay, thank you. All right, guys. So in this case, well, uh, here I need to mention this phrase over. It says, um, "I can't come up with." What is the meaning of come up with? No sé si sería Lidia. Um, it's basically like invent. Propuesta, like, proponer. Uh, maybe, could be as well. Okay, to say, to mention, to invent. Yes, those are synonyms, okay? So what product is, in this case, Josue selling? What is the product that he wants to sell? that actually is selling according to the conversation? Australian diapers. Diapers, that is correct. And what is an appealing characteristic of this product? What is an appealing, guys? What was the meaning of appealing? We covered this, this word many days ago. Maybe like, like it's attractive. Mm -hmm. Very good, thank you. Yes. So what is something, what is a, an attractive characteristic of this product according to the conversation? Hmm? What do you think? A friendly, diapers friendly. Yes, environment friendly. Thank you, yes. And is the target audience interested in buying the product Josue sells? Uh -huh. Is the target audience interested in buying the product Josue sells? Yes or no? According to the reading? Uh -huh. It says, what do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the ones sold at the supermarket. So is the target audience interested in buying the product Cosue sells? Yes, yes. they are. Yes, they are. Okay, what does Amy suggest? Mm -hmm. According to the reading? You suggest the to him to make like a slower. Okay. Very good. And have you ever heard of this marketing strategy that they call no brand? Hmm? Nope. Nobody? 
No. No? No. Uh -huh. Any idea? When you hear no brand, guys, no brand products? I think the product of, for example, Walmart, uh, the own mark, the own brand of, of Walmart. Mm -hmm. Como que tiene su propia marca, no sé. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so no sé Walmart si. has its own brand, but mm -hmm. without saying that they have a brand. Something like that? Well, yes. I mean, the no brand is an, um, they say that uh, it is a strategy, all right? The no brand, because they try to sell maybe um, the characteristics and know the brand itself, right? No ideas that probably they want. Uh, basically, maybe uh, what? They cannot become reality. So they do not use the term branding, they use no brand. And it is a strategy for different products, right? Because at the end, what they sell is just the product itself, not the brand. Mm -hmm. That's why sometimes we find different products that they don't have any type of brand. Yeah, they are no brand. Many products, many products. Sometimes, um, when it comes to clothes, right? Like clothing, no brand is really common in clothing. Because I mean, they don't sell the brand, they sell the product. Huh. So do you feel identified with the brand that you represent? Absolutely, sure. Okay, very good. Yes. Okay. And the other ones? Do you feel identified with the brand that you represent? Think about your company. <laughs> Look, Tony. I'm totally. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, Tony. <laughs> okay, so guys, um, why is it important to create a strong brand for a product? Why do you think that is important? So if we take into account that branding is actually um, this type of, um, you know, psychological connection, emotional connection with the customer. So why is it important to uh, create a strong brand for a product? Why? For create that mind in the the customer okay yes and it's what uh-huh go maurice it's important because i uh, it's necessary create 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 loyalty very good so branding creates loyalty Right, that is correct. Uh -huh. It also helps to the positioning of the product, right? It increases your sales, right? I mean, uh -huh. branding is very important, even when, uh, uh, I mean, with a product in a company itself, right? The branding is very important because you as, um, as an employee, if you feel identified with your company, I mean, with the brand, you will feel excellent. But if you do not feel excellent in the company is because you don't have a strong brand. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay, let's move. So now 
Uh, let's go ahead and um, maybe just study some examples of well-known brands and their impact. And pay attention on this because you are going to um, develop a presentation based on this, okay? So we have different brands, right, that are really important in today's society because of their branding because of the way that they make um, their advertising, right? Because of the way that they um, share their ideas. And the most common um, company that we can mention when it comes to branding, right? Which is a real good example of branding is going to be Coca-Cola, right? Why Coca-Cola? Why Coca-Cola, eh, Luis Miguel? Can you please read the example? Coca-Cola is a one of the most recognized brands globally. It uh, builds a strong emotional connection with the customer. Talk is ref refreshing beverage, iconic logo, and memorial advertising company mm -hmm. campaign. Mm -hmm. Coca-Cola's brands quality and brand loyalty have helped us in maintain a leading position in the soul drain industry for a decade. For decades. <laughs> okay, decades. thank you. Yeah. So guys, when we think about Coca-Cola, if you if you see people say, I do love Coca-Cola. Have you seen their um their advertising, right? Their their campaigns. That's yeah. what you think, right? So you think about, I mean, the campaigns when it comes to Christmas. Yes, right? for the beers. Yes, because they like use, uh -huh, they use branding. And the branding is creating this memorable, right? Experience in the customer. So you feel identified with the with the company, with the brand, with Coca Cola, right? Mm -hmm. The advertising is so different in the Latin America and the United yeah. States. United States is like uh, the best brand, the best Coca Cola, the best I don't know something like that. In Latin America, is they show a happy family mm -hmm. in the diner. Yeah. Yes that those are strategies that they use uh -huh. well coca-cola is is uh one of the examples that we have right of branding then the second example is going to be google yeah, the 2000. yeah google so um help us reading the information about google um carla sofia hello Hello. Uh, well, no brands and their impact. Mm -hmm. uh, Google is a technology yeah. giant. Giant known for its search engine, engine, as well as a wide range of products and services, mm -hmm. including Google Maps, Gmail, and YouTube. Yes. The brand has become synonymous with internet search and online service. Google's brand has gained, gained, gained trust and credibility for delivering reliable and relevant information, making, making it a go-to choice for millions of users worldwide. Yes, users, huh? users. Thank you, users Carlos. Worldwide. <laughs> Excellent, okay. So guys, Google is another uh, example of well-known brands, right? And the impact that it has had, right? So uh, in this case, the brand has become uh, synonymous with internet search and, and online services, okay? So sometimes we actually choose Google instead of any other type of explorer, right? Because of the brand, because of the brand, right? 
Yes. Because Google's brand has gained trust and credibility, right? For delivering reliable and relevant information. So whenever you actually think about, I need to search something, Google it, right? Branding, brand. Why? Because it has gained the trust and the credibility, okay? Then um, let's move to the last, to the last exam, okay? Uh, Mayra, can you please help us reading this? Yes. Thank you. Samsung is a leading technology company now for the wide range of customer electronics, including smartphone, TVs, and home appliances. The Samsung brand is associated with cutting edge technology, mm -hmm. slick design, and user-friendly interfaces. It has become a whole, a household mm -hmm. name and a dominant player in the electronics market. Very good. So um, basically, Samsung, right, which is one of the brands that we all recognize, right? Mm -hmm. Samsung. So this brand is associated with cutting edge. What is the meaning of cutting edge? Mm -hmm. Tecnología de punta, something like that. <laughs> Very good. Yes. Slick designs and user-friendly interfaces. It has become a household name. What is the meaning of household? A, ha a household name. Household is like saying uh, something familiar. Yes. Something famous. A household name and a dominant player in the electronics market. Yeah. Because of the brand, right? Because of the brand. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so now let's move. And let's work on the book again, right? So we have different terms, again, about branding. Yeah, what we need to do is that we need to put them in order. Yeah. So you are, okay, I'm going to mention some names. You are going to read the definition and you are going to tell me what do you think the definition describes. Okay, you have five options right here in color orange. Yeah. So let's see. A number one. Read the definition and tell me what do you think that is, right? Number one, eh, Vladimir. Number two, Abigail. Number three, Juan Jose. Number four, Jonathan. And number five, Neg. Okay, so number one. Vladimir, can you please yeah. read the definition? Number Number one. It refers to practice to promoting, to pro, of promoting the brand name of the corporate entity as opposed to a specific product or, or service. Mm -hmm. mm. Cultural branding. Cultural branding. Mm, not exactly. Not exactly, yes. Uh -huh. It says of a corporate entity. Mm -hmm. Corporate branding. Thank you. Corporate branding. Thank you, Vladimir. Number two. Number two, I think that I said Abigail, are you there? 
Hola. No? Okay. Abigail, can you please read the definition that we have right here and give us what do you think is the correct option? It is used to draw, draw a positive connection between a product in, and the identity Identity. Of, uh, Identity. Oh. Identif identity. Identity. I, identity. Okay, Abigail. Identity. Identity. Very good. Of a geographical religion. Oh, region. Region. Excellent. Okay. Uh -huh. What do you think that is? Is it product branding, personal branding, geographical branding, or cultural Geographic branding? branding? Cultural branding. Number four. Um, yeah. not exactly. Yes. In this case, it is going to be geographical right. branding. Okay. Thank you, Abigail. Okay. Number three. The practice, the practice of people marketing themselves and their careers as brands, I think is personal branding. Very good. Thank you. Yes. Excellent, Juan Jose. Number four. A type of branding that develops a reputation about the environment and people of a particular location or nationality. Excellent. Uh, could be cultural branding. Very good. Thank you, Jonathan. Excellent. And the last one. It is how a product, it is how a product interacts with its consumer audience through design, logo, and advertising. Yes. It is for branding. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. So we have the definitions, okay, from uh, the book, yes, of all of these terms. We have product branding, personal branding, corporate branding, geographical branding, and cultural branding. Yes, we have different terms. When it comes to branding, we have a lot of terms. Yes. Okay, so now look at the two sets of questions to guide the branding process of a company or a person. This is very important because this is going to help you with the activity, okay? So now it says we have product branding and we have personal branding. As you can see right here, we have a couple of questions for us to develop the branding process, okay, of company or a person, okay? So in this case, this one is from the company, the product branding. And this one is personal branding. Yes, personal brand. And we have different questions. So look at the first ones. What does your business or product do? What problem do you solve for your customers? Yeah. Who are your three main competitors? Direct or indirect? What is the primary message uh, you want to convey to your customers, okay? What are five adjectives or words that best describe your company? The product branding. And then we have personal branding. So we have a couple of questions. What service do you have to offer to people? Personal branding, okay? What do you do that makes you stand out from everyone else? A stand out, what is the meaning of this phrasal verb? A stand out. Which one? Levantarse. <laughs> Sobresalir. Sobresalir. Very good, okay. A stand out means sobresalir. Okay, so what do you do that makes you stand out? from everyone else. 
what do you have, right? Whenever you go to a job interview, they ask you, right? What can you bring to the table? Why should we hire you? So what do you do that makes you stand out from everyone else? Personal brand, right? So who are your biggest competitors and what are they doing to brand themselves? This one is when it comes to personal brand, yeah? What do you want your personal brand to convey? What adjectives do you want people to associate with you as a product and why? I mean, we have personal branding and we also have product branding, yeah? And it says that this is the guide to the branding process of a company or a person. And in this case, we are going to use the one of a company. Yeah. So product brand, this. Yeah. So from the book, um, we need to take this activity. Okay. And on this activity, it says, Work in pairs, right? We're going to work in teams. Choose a well-known product or service in the national market, yeah? So answer the guiding questions. By answering the guiding questions, you are going to create the basic profile of the brand for the product service you chose. Yes, and in this case, we are not going to create the personal brand because I think that is enough with this one today, all right? So product branding. This one is the one that we need to answer about a national product. It could be international as well, okay? In this case, you decide. You decide, but I need you to answer those questions, all right? And try to create a short presentation. Yes, for you to explain one, two, three, four, five questions. Yeah. Okay. Do you have questions before we go to the breakout rooms? No. no? One, one, two, three, four, five questions. Yes. We need to respond the five questions and make a presentation. Yes, that's it, basically, right? Yeah. Okay, guys, so let me create, yes, I think that, like this. Okay, let's move. I am driving. Okay, Vladimir, thank you. Don't worry. And... Okay, so. Hi, teacher. Hello. Okay, I think that Emerson is here. Emerson, are you there? Mm, I think I'm going to move you. Let me see. Yes. Emerson, are you there? Yes, miss. I am. Ah, okay. I'm going to move you. Wendy, are you there? Wendy? Okay. Uh, I need more time. <laughs> okay, no problem if you don't have time for this. I'm going to create a... Uh, 
Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Maybe, okay, we need to choose um, a brand. What local brand do you like to describe? Local brand. Local brand. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> Pollo Campestre. Ah, Pollo Campestre. Or maybe Mr. Donald is a local brand. Or maybe uh, uh, Pastelería Lorena. Uh, or maybe in San Salvador, um, Cola Champán. This is a, a beverage, a, a good beverage, and recognize it around mm -hmm. the world, like a Salvadorian um, uh, most recognized uh, drink, soda drink. We have a lot of, of brands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. Oh. Cafeteria San Martín. This is a, a Guatemalteca brand. Guatemala brand. Mm -hmm. San Martín. Uh, another pastry of, of El Salvador maybe is uh, La Tecleña, La Bambam, oh. uh, Lilian. Holy bread. <laughs> Uh, I, I hungry. I'm hungry all the time, but. Trabajemos con la tecleña entonces. Binacional. Do you like? No problem for me. Estar. Bien. La teacher no va a decir que solo de comida. Hacemos. Yes, I think that. That yes. Okay. I agree on that. Yes, good. Well, uh, okay, no problem. Okay. <laughs> um, and let me let me. Déjeme okay. buscar algo, algo que. What product or service we choose? Uh, Amazon and data center or cloud service. Okay. They use something is called um hardware like a service if you you need to to put your uh, page on the internet they they sell the spaces in in the cloud i don't know how you say servidores I can see the screen. Se llama Amazon AWS AWS Ah 
Amazon. AWS. This is our product. Yes, they sell they sell the service like a they sell product like a service. Mm. What problem do you solve for your customer? They don't need invert in computers. Don't need. ¿Cómo se dice invertir? Invest. Investment. Invest. Invert. Invert. Do you want? Do, want. Do you do you okay. want to copy? Teacher, the answer number four is what is the primary message? Do you want to copy or do want? Uh, what is the primary message? Do you want to convey to your customers? Do, do you, you want? Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Do you want to convey? Okay. Do you customers? Customers. And last one. What are five adjectives? Adjective or adjective, adjective or words that that best describe by your, your company. Okay. Bueno. Ok, ya las tenemos aquí. Vale, este, vamos tratando de avanzar. Ok. Um, the number one. What does your business do? Eh, ok. Es... Uh -huh. eh, eh, ¿Cómo se dice la elaboración? No. Eh, vole, eh, el elaboration. Bread. Bread. Um, cake. <laughs> <laughs> I feel some robot. I make a bread. <laughs> Elaboración de pan, pongámosle. A, a, little, a, a little piece of tecla. Un pedacito de tecla is the, the brand or the, 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 no, the, 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 the low. Slow, uh, uh -huh. slow, uh, a, a little bit of o tecla, un pedacito, pero no sé, es un pedacito, a little bit, no a sé si a little, a little, a little uh, no sé cómo decirlo, un pedacito, a little piece of tecla. Mm -hmm. Así tendría que Ok. Maybe it's a little piece little. of tecla. Little escribió con un lete. Little, perdón, little piece of tecla. Tecla. Okay. And this one I need to create. Guardar imagen. No sé cómo agarrar este. Este. Ah, oh, maybe yes. Okay. Control C. El que. Ay, voy, voy. 
Ahí voy. La tecleño. Oh my God. Me quito este y me llevo este. Panadería y pastelería, vaya. Pero pongámosle, pongámosle sabor. ¿Qué le vamos a, qué, qué vamos a decir de, de, del, del, del nombre? Sí, o sea, ¿cómo describimos? ¿Qué es lo que hace? Eh. Bakery. <laughs> This is a bakery. Yes, This yes. The a... bike company. Of all size with an infra infrastructure. What service? Platforms, platforms in the cloud. What service? Platforms is platforms in the cloud. Okay, next. What are five adjectives or words that the best describe your company? Okay. River City. I see they have a they have a, a actually only for this the infrastructure infrastructure platform software storage. Eso. But I, I don't know if it's an adjective. Let me see. Platform. Uh, elaborate a special bring um pastry in breakfast along of the customer taste elaboration of cake. Okay, repeat again, please. That I need to write to. Okay. No, sé si está bien, está <laughs> no, no problem. Okay. Elaborate a special <laughs> bread and pastry and breakfast. Breakfast. Great. Um, We elaborate a special bread. Uh -huh. and, and lunch. Wait a minute. We elaborate a special bread and lunch. 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 Uh -huh. And the customer days elaboration of cake. La, la idea en español no se la entendí. Vaya, yo lo puse así. Elaboran pan especial y repostería. Y desayunos uh -huh. y almuerzos al gusto del cliente. Y elaboran pasteles. Algo así. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Entonces, uh, para no volver a poner we. We elaborate. Okay. We are the best bakery and pastry shop of Santa Tecla. This is good. But... If we, if we need to say that we made, we elaborate a special bread, but I can use we another time, what synonym with, uh, we can uh, use? Okay. okay. Yeah. Or pastry? Or bakery? Okay. Or 
Bakery. Are. Nuestra, como nuestra pastelería. Uh -huh. Elaborate. El, no sé si es elaborate or make or made. Are made, maybe. Are made. Yeah, I love you. Mm, I don't know. It depends that we need to say. Um, solo para seguir la idea. Yeah. Nuestra pastelería elabora yeah. un pan especial. Yeah. Uh, uh, they also, la, um, la idea la tengo, solo que la quiero, yeah. la, la quiero convertir así como usted dice, Nia Wendy, en, en algo más fluido. Um, okay. Maybe um, or a special or a special herb and or bakery is elaborated every day with. Love and a special dedication uh, and a special dedication of the details. Uh, ¿Les parece a la idea así, tratándola de estructurar? Sí. No es okay. como nuestra pastelería Entre... o nuestra... Nuestra repostería se elabora cada día con, con, con amor y con especial atención o dedicación a, a los detalles. Uh, entre, en, entre paréntesis, podías poner a special touch of home. A special touch, touch of home, o sea, un toque especial hogareño. Hogareño, siento que tiene otro sinónimo. Uh, eh, family, familiary, no. Uh, hoy vimos un sinónimo. I... Lo vimos en los ejemplos de, 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 de la clase. Déjeme recordarlo, por aquí lo vi. Um, household, no, household is traditional, traditional, <laughs> uh, uh, well, bueno, special homemade touch, a special, oh, sorry, homemade. Um, Estoy utilizando otro sinónimo, otro sinónimo. A special homey touch. Ok. ¿Qué más? Ahí están en el chat. Le ofrecen el AWS. Ellos dicen, no vas a invertir en hierros, en servidores. Uh -huh. Try to. Home, homemade. Oh, home, made. Home, made. Homemade touch. Yeah. A special homemade touch. Yes, yeah. that one. Okay. Um, offer the other quality one. in our products and customer reward us with loyalty. Uh, you can, you can design, uh, your favorite, favorite, my favorite cake, um, for a special location, for, for, uh, a, um, for party. Parties, parties, party, parties, for parties and special mm -hmm. uh, occasions. occasion. 
occasions. Artists. 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 And, and special occasions. Special occasions. Okay. Yeah. And también tienen cafetería, lo que decía la niña Wendy. Mm -hmm. um, en eventos, en events. Events. Boquitas para eventos. Ah, uh, how do you say? Oh, event service. Event service. Um, Catherine. Cater, no sé si es catering o catering. Catering. Catering, creo que. Ajá. Aunque ese es el nombre de una muchacha que yo conozco, pero. Catering. Recopilación. No, no sé si es catering o no. Um, uh, no sé si estamos dando muchas explicaciones, pero. Por ahí podría quedar. Oh, el podría café. Quedar respuesta. We, okay. we offer, no, we attend, attend, events. We attend. Uh, mira, 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 no pasa. We attend events too. No, no, es que este de asistir, no. Atendemos eventos. Mm. Uh -huh. Don Tony, mándeme. They have, bueno, lo que yo pienso, ¿verdad? they have a good service in social network, um, WhatsApp, in their solid rooms for a special occasion. Okay, repeat again, please. They have a good Service in social network and WhatsApp and in your salons the room for special occasion. In WhatsApp, después de in WhatsApp, ya no lo entendí. WhatsApp, sí, en WhatsApp, in your, o no sé cómo se dice, in your salons room. In their sales room. Sí, sí. Ah, okay. Um, uh, by the social network and our solve um this is maybe is contact us by the social network yeah. the best yeah. contact us by the social networks and uh, we are going to events and have branches Y, y tenemos como sucursales, la, uniendo la última parte que usted me dijo. Eh, uh -huh. Ay, se nos va a acabar el tiempo. We, we cut a ribbon and we have branches around the country. I think the contact social network in a, maybe a mother, a mother question. Or oh, no. Ah. Uh, Esta. Posiblemente la podemos poner aquí también. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. Organizamos eventos y tenemos un grupo dentro del país. Bueno, tal, tal vez así. No sé si nos hemos adelantado mucho o no. Ok. Tema número dos. Ya le voy a poner después las imágenes porque no hay ahorita que poner. Eh, tema número dos. What problem do you have solved for your customer? Ah, ¿qué problema solventaríamos? Uh -huh. A los consumidores. Uh... Eh, Tentaríamos la necesidad eh, in other 
eh, departments in Oriente. <laughs> okay, in other departments. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. In other cities. In other cities. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sabía que era diferente. Uh, other. Espérame, perdóneme que me perdí aquí tratando de ponerle algo. Um, wait me a few seconds. I send the image in chat. <laughs> okay, thank you. Escucha esto, tal vez te parece. Okay. We 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 would solve the need to drink coffee and a piece of bread. Parame, 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 que me guasapió el 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 la presentación de mi segundito. Ay, Dios mío, se me traba esto. <laughs> what, yeah. problem, what problem do you want to solve with this with your customers? Uh, I think is is change the the idiom in, in the out. En la barra de risa España en España. Abajo. Down. down. The idiom. The idiom from the diapositive. Es que sí, como me lo cambia, pero no lo sé en dónde lo cambio, que es lo que estaba buscando. Yes. Ah, aquí. Aquí, ahí, ahí. <ríe> no, ah, donde, dice España, donde dice español, España, a la par. A la parte del librito, ahí, ahí es idioma, no, al otro lado. Y ahí, a la par, a la par, a la par. Dele donde dice español, España. Vaya, bueno, pero ya le di español. De España. Ahí, ah. ahí, le, ahí le tiene que aparecer Estados Unidos, inglés, Estados Unidos. No, eh, ahí. Ahí le tiene que cambiar el archivo. Vaya, pero le valió madre, ¿ves? Le valió. <risa> ok, bueno, después lo vemos, no hay problema. Le valió. Okay. Le valió madre. What problem do you solve for your customers? You erase all the... Ah. No, the, las anteriores. Ah, no, ahorita voy a poner la que usted me mandó. Uh, we offer quality. Ah, qué bonita esa imagen. Ahorita se la pongo. No. Ay. ¿En cuál lo quería que se lo pusiera? No, no, pensé que había borrado lo anterior, pero no es que está escribiendo lo otro. Ok, voy a escribir que se me dio Mauricio. Ajá. We will. En ese compuesto. We will solve. We will solve. 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 Or solve. Ajá. No, solve. Solve. Sin de uh -huh. uh, the need to drink the 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 uh -huh. the need the necesidad need to drink Maybe. to drink coffee and a pieces of bread. Piece of bread. Nosotros nice. necesitamos solventar la necesidad de tomar café y comer pan. Así. Un pedazo de pan. But I think that uh, this is the 
the action to do by selling a, a pastry and, and, and bakery. But in this case, um, in the class, we need to, to describe a problem that the company have actually with the market, with the customer, with the product, or another thing to create a new um, branding um, a objective or branding strategy. Uh, maybe uh, like an, um, an example, maybe the uh, La Tecleña needs to um, needs to create um, a delivery option for for uh, for cakes that don't destroy the cake in the process to deliver to the to the client house or the or the event. Uh, maybe the, the the cake was moved or 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 then damaged the product before to deliver to the client. Or maybe uh, they need to to improve new uh, um, new flavors with uh, options of diabetics clients that they need to eat cake but with less sugar. Um, mm -hmm. Or maybe I don't know. I am trying to to explain um, the problem that the the that the company have to need to resolve and and need to resolve. No sé si me di a entender. Sí. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ahí ya tenemos el maybe the first yes too. Maybe the Sorry. first is a good problem. Mm -hmm. The first question finished. Okay. Right, number two. ¿Qué problemas yeah. creen que tiene ahorita la empresa? Diga, a, a modo de ejemplo. O un tema de expansión. O un tema uh, de de uh, new crear sucursales ajá, crear sucursales new... más pequeñas o, o más o, 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 o con más glamour no lo sé eh, o con más uh, you are you visitor um visit visitor visitor sí, yes. yeah. are you visitor um a branch of la tecleña and compares to bam bam the the tecleña is more plain. Uh, no. You you have a a, a, a refrigerators. Um, no sé cómo se dice cámaras refrigeradoras, like a fridges with display of the of the cakes, and at the left or at the right you have a display, a, a display with the with the sweet bread or the bakery. In Bam Bam uh, is more um, focused to the client experience, and they have um, uh, cameras when they show the, the the sweet bread, the cakes, and the pastry, and they don't have uh, um, so much space to the to the cakes. Maybe because the the special uh, or, or the principal um, target of Bam Bam is sell pastry to uh, eat in the in the um, in the same place. Uh, maybe I I uh, I try to say that you go to the Bam Bam and you. Uh, buy and eat the product inside the the, the brand, and in Latikleña is not so 
focus it to to enjoy the experience of the coffee, the taste and the flower of the pastry. Uh, you go only for buy a cake and you go out um, by my my personal view. Uh, yeah. Maybe I, I I was wrong, but but I feel that when I go to the La Teclenia, I go go only for to buy a cake or buy a, a different pastry, uh, reposteria and then go out and in yeah. la bang bang is totally different because i going to 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 buy a a, a cafe with um granulated or, or like frozen and i i buy yeah. the tartaletas and yeah. i eat them in yeah. the same place it is different uh, you you okay. talk, you talk with a product. I okay, guys. Uh, so I think that you finish. Hi, teacher. We I have a doubt. Okay. We we had to choose a company, or we have to create a new brand. No, you need to choose a company. Uh in the second part, we lost the second part of the activity. Oh, we, no. we, for the second part, uh, I mean, you need to work only on the first uh, five questions. Um, the one that says product uh, branding. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. I think that you did already. Yes. Uh -huh. Marita, we have to delete the last one page. <laughs> Yes, give me two minutes because the other team is still working on the presentation, okay? Okay, we are the best. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. yes, okay. Give me one second. Create a new experience. No space. For the experience. To enjoy. Enjoy the product the product that that sell in the place um como dijo usted carlita create new experience uh -huh. um create an experience of um taste the coffee and the bakery bakery inside the um, store the the uh, the pastry store or the Bakery store. Yeah. Maybe. Ah, uh, no. Lo podemos mejorar. Ustedes díganme aquí. Déjenme ver. Vaya, y hoy me ocultó la cochina. Herramienta de, de, de... El lenguaje. Vista, revisar, creo que sí. Revisar, creo que sí. Ortografía, idioma. En idioma. Establecer idioma de corrección. En inglés. Así que lo mismo. Termina. Va a ir le cambio. Va. Ves. Es en el es de seis, pero I I don't know why is the first time. Okay. In my PC, my computer, computer, uh, no, no problem <laughs> because it is in English. Ah. <laughs> uh... I bought in in Amazon because yes, it's a it's a good it's price. Is uh and I think 
have a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Dentro de, dentro, and the past tree. Past tree. Past um, tree. Past tree inside the bakery store. And maybe a trial client is coming for the rest. Attract. Attract. Yeah. No sé si esta es attract o by attractor, attractor, todo me lo ponen ahí, vamos a attract customers, attract customers. places, Instagram, no sé si existe esta palabra, Instagram, Instagram, la gente busca lugares solo para tomar fotos y le dicen Instagram. I know, ah, to follow <laughs> to to Instagramers. Uh -huh. like customers. Instagram. Customers. <laughs> eh, um, ¿Cómo se llaman promoters? Digital promoters. Digital promoters. Uh, uh, especially. Instagram. Okay. Attract new customers. New customer G digital promoters, especially Instagrammers. Okay. For the new age. Okay. Okay. Um okay, number three. What are your three main competitors? Okay. Um, Instagram y Amli. Instagrammer, Instagrammer, Instagram Mears. No sé si está bien. It, it's the idea. Instagrammer, Instagram. Sí, no sé si. Yo creo que está sí, bien. Is sí, es term in marketing and communication. Ok. ¿Qué le ponemos? ¿Quiénes son nuestros tres principales competidores? Bam, bam. <laughs> ok. In San Salvador, I think that. Or in Santa Tecla. Um, bam, bam, Lilian, and... San Martín. Lorena. ¿Quién más? Perdón. Lorena. Lorena. Pero Lorena no está todavía aquí en San Salvador. No, pero en Santa Tecla sí hay. Ahí Lorena en Santa Tecla. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Boom, boom. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. Pastry. Eh, San Martín. Sí, pero los tres principales, creo que por el, por el, por el lugar, ¿verdad? Ajá, por el lugar, por el tipo de especialidad y, y pastel. Mm -hmm. I think that is bam, bam. Eh, Lorena, Lorena Bakery, um, eh, um, Lil, Lady Lilians, ¿cuál? Pan Lido. Bien, bien. Boom, boom. ¿Cuál? Perdón, ahí me perdí. <ríe> boom, boom. Boom, boom. Mm, ese es como más. Lo que pasa es que no, no, they don't have a, the same branches than 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 eh, la tecleña boom boom is only one branch only one branch or only one store eh, bam bam they have a, lo a lot of, of branches in different place and principally at the same place that they have the the eh, la tecleña one okay. and la tecleña uh, has um has has had uh, 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 many branches in Santa Ana, Son Sonate, y Aguachapan. This is the place that Bam Bam is the most recognized bakery. Um, maybe the Lillian. Okay. Do you hear Lillian? Lillian Bakery? Okay. I, I uh, don't know, but do you think another one is? I, I put another one. Francesco. What do you say in Pam Bill? Pam Bill. 
Pambil. Chispa, no lo he oído. Pambil. Pambil. Help me to find en in, in internet. Eh, aquí es Sabi. Eh, Vilma. Eh, ah. Francesca. Pambil, but, but, but when they say that uh, they have a, a branch of Lorena Bakery in Santa Tecla. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, yes, we have Pam Bam Bam and Lorena Bakery and what other place that do you think that that made cakes? Only Elsie's Cakes. But don't have any branches right Sweet Cakes, no hay. Sweet ¿Cuál? Sweet Cakes, cake. Ah, Sweet, the Palace sweet of the cake. Pastry. Yeah. Ah. Palacio de los Postres. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah. O, o la la también, o la si hay dos que tres, pero el Palacio de los Postres solo hay uno. Y hola, la, creo que hay dos o tres. Oh, maybe San Martín. No problem. San Martín. Ok. Ok. The number four. Chispa, ya no le he puesto más imágenes. Déjenme ponerle aquí la de, la de estos tres competidores. Um, the number four. Duplicar. Si quieres el... Ah. Uh -huh. What is the primary message do you want to convey your customers? Convey your customers. What is the message principal? What is the message principal that you should transmit to your clients? Y le voy a poner cuáles dijimos que eran Bam Bam Pastry. In the web eh, dice hay que dar para recibir. A ver. <risa> sí, dice. Dice así, dice. en la familia siempre existió un dicho que nos ha mantenido fuerte. Hay que dar para recibir. Nosotros ofrecemos calidades. Podemos decir lo mejor de lo mejor. Eh, 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 vale, pero solo, solo dígame y lo voy poniendo pues para, para, para no perder el, el, el tiempo uy, 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 espérame, que solo le estaba poniendo aquí a la bamba una Lorena Bakery with a phrase or, or, or maybe the slogan In the eh, espérame que me perdí ok vale pongamos ese que usted me dijo porque es el que tienen en el aunque ah, okay, este es algo nuevo verdad o sea si nosotros queremos hacer de que lleguen y we need to to the uh, the customers comes to the to the uh, uh, bakery shop and they enjoy buy and and eat the 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 food in the place because if you if you have a a, a branch and it's not the same when you only go to buy the product and go to your house that you uh, go and buy the product and consume in inside the the the, the bakery store because you consume more or you uh, paid more more money to consume a, an example if i go to bam bam uh, i only no I, I not only buy uh the the sweet bread or, or the bakery i uh, buy um uh granizado or, or uh, like oh, a frappe. frozen coffee frappe. A, a frappe and a sandwich and if I go to only buy for my family, I paid 
four dollars and I consumed inside the, the store I paid only for the frappe for four dollars and for the sandwich is another four dollars more I paid only for me eight dollars and then <laughs> I need to buy the by the sentimiento de culpa by the <laughs> culpability feel I buy more bread my more sweet bread for my family this is okay the guys one minute oh my gosh yes the, the, the family feel <laughs> you feel uh, it's Tony Tony uh -huh. family uh, and in the four what is the primary message do you, uh -huh. what is the primary message do you want to convey your customer is a uh, or is the best of the yeah, best? Yeah, yeah. Or lo oh. nuestro es lo mejor de lo mejor. Ah, o compartir el mejor, el, el, lo mejor de lo mejor del pan, o compartir el mejor pan, se disfruta. Uh, ya sea lo bien. mejor de lo mejor, ya. Yeah. Uh, uh, time, place, y the product. The first bakery well, bread places with product share the best bakery product product on a familiar a, fa a familiar a familiar a fa atmosphere atmosphere gracias Familia, family. Family. Oh, okay. Family. Atmosphere. Share the best bakery product on a familiar atmosphere. Yes, familiar. Okay. En lugar de familiar, puede ponerle family atmosphere. Ajá. Uh -huh. Family atmosphere. atmosphere. Y ahí le falta la e en atmosphere. Oh, al final, yeah, thank you. Okay, just finished number five and we are uh, joining the main room, okay, in some seconds. Ten okay. Seconds. I said in the chat. <laughs> okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Interior teamwork engagement. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Okay, guys. So I think that, um, yeah, well, Tony, you're still like on number five, right? Okay, finish number five. It's okay. Don't worry, okay? Don't worry. Uh, okay, so we have Luis Miguel, we have Emerson, Mayra, okay, Nelly, George. Uh, please present your uh, development, okay, of the project. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, teacher. We choose Amazon uh, web, web service because mm -hmm. it's an interesting product. Uh, we have to answer the, the question. Please, Meyer. Okay. Um, what problem do you solve for your customers? We, we, ¿cómo sería la pregunta? Me escuché cortado. What, what problem? Ah, with the product is uh, Amazon, what service? Second one. Who are your three main competitors, direct or indirect? In our country is Claro, Tigo, Microsoft, Apple, uh, Club of Google. Okay. Okay. And the, the, other, the other question is, what is a uh, benefit? The, we think the companies don't need to invest in computers or, or physical to, to put his information or data in, in, 
in a servitor. Servidores, ¿cómo sería? Server. Servers, yes. Okay. All right. Next question. What is the primary message do you want to convey to your customers? Mm -hmm. Ah, provide companies of all size with the uh, infrastructure, infrastructure web service platform in the cloud. Okay. Next. Next question. This slide we can use for same question. Oh, okay. I can, yeah. So the last question is what are five adjectives or words that best describe your company? No, she she refers uh, about the last the last uh, question she read about how que le ofrece al cliente. Mm -hmm. Okay. Easy to use, cost mm -hmm. effective, adaptive, security, security is esa para la palabra. Es Escalable. Yes. And, and performance. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, George. Okay, uh, the different benefits of house is, is to use house is designing to let me customer use services and hot application with easy. Amazon provides training and education that makes moving on the on, that on location stockpile to the cloud easy. Um, next, um, the cost effective house economical pricing makes in an attractive proposition over on premises clue option and it auto scales and balances the load of offer the same high performance regardless of usage you of usage uh, adapt, adaptive house most significant advantage is adaptability for organization moving to the cloud for the first time on the switch cloud services providers security mm -hmm. house is one of the most secure and reliable cloud services providers in the world of the follows on high level of complaints, affirmation, and his following international data security laws. And the last one, scalability, scalability and performances, which uh, is on a, on, a, on a parallel global infra, infrastructure. Amazon provides scalable, reliable, and secured cloud services for the storage and computing that can be easily scaled as per requirement. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, okay, continue, continue. Okay, in the last one, what? Oh, well, the most representative words for the companies are safety, reliability, performance, efficiency, sustainability, best practice about the computer based that storage, application, security, and analysis. Analytics. analytics. Okay. Okay, uh, just the pronunciation of scalability. Scalability, okay. Scalability. Scalability, yes. Uh -huh. Scalable, provides scalable, reliable, and secure cloud service. Okay, thank you guys. Very good, thank you. Um, Mayra, Luis, Emerson, George, okay. Tony, it's your turn. Thank you very much, guys. But first, I'm going to take the attendance, okay? So, Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Thank you. Carlos Omar Linares Cañas. Ah, but he was having issues. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Present, yes. teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Yes. Present, teacher. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present, yes. Thank you. Fátima Gabriela Loza Castillo. 
Yes. Present teacher. Thank you. Jonathan Jose Gonzalez Dominguez. Present, yes. Miss. Thank you. Jose Bernardo Lopez Montes. Present. Thank you. Juan Antonio Elias Flores. Present, teacher. Thank you, Tony. Juan Jose Herrera Alvarenga. Present, Miss. Thank you. Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Present. Thank you. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez Elaya. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Luis Miguel Corbera. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Present, teacher. Thank you. Nelly Lilibet Andrade García. Present. Thank you. Raúl Antonio Jordán Miranda. Present. Thank you. Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Present. Thank you. And Wendy Marisela Ramirez Guevara. Now all of you connected. Very good. Okay, thank you. Uh, Tony, okay, go. Okay. Um, we choose the La Teclina um, Bakery because mm -hmm. uh, it's a, a synonym of X of success mm -hmm. in the Santa Tecla city and uh, around the metropolitan um, zone too. Um, and um, the, the logo of this company is a little piece of tecla, un pedacito de tecla. Mm -hmm. so, Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to make an introduction that um, we need to respond five questions and uh, talking about the number one is what does your business do? Uh, okay, um, we invest the the all the things that the pastry and the bakery that the clean do and in the most important part is that there's a, a, a bakery and pastry shop of santa tecla uh, um this bakery or our bakery i was talking about the, we are the owner of the the, the company our mm -hmm. bakery is liberated every day uh, with love and special dedication of the details as a special homemade touch mm -hmm. and uh, we offer quality in products and customers reward us with loyalty and um, um, if you uh, need of your decide you can decide your favorite cake for pies and special events and with the different toppings colors and the photographies uh, if you need uh, and we cater events and have our branches around the country and contact us by us by the social networks okay. and then carla going to help with the Question number two, what problem do you solve for your customers? Okay. Uh, what problem do you solve for your customers? Create a special space to enjoy the product that sell in the place. Mm -hmm. uh, developing an um, experience of days, the coffee and the pastry inside the bakery store. Uh, attract new customers, digital prom promoters, Mm -hmm. And especially Instagrammers. Okay. Okay. Wendy, please help with the number three. What are your three main competitors? Bam Bam okay. Bar Street, Lorena Bakery, and San Martin. Okay. Maurice, please help with the fourth and the five a slide, please. Uh, okay. What did the primary message do you want to convey? your customer uh, share the best baker production on family atmosphere atmosphere of here mm -hmm. five uh, what are what are five adjectives or words that best describe your company in judgment Patient, excellence, integrity, and teamwork. Okay. okay. Very good. excellent. Um, well, go back to the first slide, Tony. Uh, what are the uh -huh, yes elaborated? Elabo, R A, elaborated. In instead of E. Elaborate. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. Uh, offer for um, 
around, just one R. Oh, okay, all around, okay. Okay, very good, guys. It's very satisfying how you work as a team, okay? So, well, both of you guys, the two teams uh, worked really, I would say, hard, okay, on the presentation. So, right now, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here, but I will see you back tomorrow, okay? So, please go ahead and rest, okay? Thank you very much for connecting today, okay? Have a Thank good night, guys. You Thank you. So All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank, 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 Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Good night. Thank you. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you. Good night. Good night.